video. Is recording video also? Yeah. Go on. And sound? Uh, yeah, video and okay, sound. You need to hand me your camera. Now to a controversy the K2 investigators have been following for months. Can police arrest you or take your camera for recording them in public? A Portland man doing just that has won a victory of sorts against the Portland Police Bureau. On your side, investigator Anna Sung joins us live. Anna, this really affects all of us. Absolutely, Deb, because video cameras are everywhere now. I mean, a lot of us have them right on our cell phones. And if we come across a police incident we'd like to record, well, we have to know the rules. And now, so do the Portland cops. I have no reason why you stop me. Here's the video in question, captured by Portlander Mike Tabor outside the Portland Art Museum back in March. He recorded two Portland police officers stopping and searching two men, but making no arrests. Afterward, Officer Dane Reister approaches Tabor, verifies that Tabor is recording with audio, and confiscates the camera. Video recording video also? Yeah. Go on. And sound? Uh, yeah, video and okay, sound. You need to hand me your camera. How come? Reister cites Tabor for illegal interception of communication. Prosecutors declined to pursue charges, and Tabor threatened to sue. Now the city has responded to Tabor with a letter indicating it will give officers a refresher course when it comes to these laws. Do you consider this a victory? I do, yeah. I think this is a big victory for Mr. Tabor and even just beyond that, just for the people of Portland to be able to monitor the police. Oh, wait, come back. Hey. You should be able to feel comfortable videotaping officers from a distance whenever you want to, as long as they're out in public doing what they do every day. With audio? Well, we assume that audio is part of it. The same issue came up in Beaverton this summer when Hao Vang was not only cited but thrown in jail for videotaping the arrest of his friend at a bowling alley. He also was not prosecuted, but unlike Tabor, when Vang got his camera back from Beaverton police, the video clip of the arrest was missing. Now, the Portland Police Bureau is still saying their officers can legally tell somebody to stop recording audio if the conversation they're having has to do with an ongoing criminal investigation. Now, the Bureau says it's up to the city attorney's office to define what that means. Now, keep in mind, both of the cases we mentioned here involve the recording of the audio of police officers in public settings. Under Oregon law, it is illegal to intercept the communications of everyday citizens without their consent. That's something we deal with every day as broadcast journalists. Reporting live in Northeast Portland, Anna Song, K2 News. Some good information tonight, Anna. Thank you.